Lesson 1. The UK Today. Page 188. Task 2. Listen to two people. I'm a teacher in a big city in Northern Ireland with two names. It's called Londonderry and Derry. In the past, there were problems between people who wanted to be British and people who wanted to be Irish, but it's better now. I just say I'm Northern Irish. I live with my mum and dad in Birmingham, in England. My mum's from Yorkshire. She's very funny and has a different accent to me. We often visit my mum's family in Leeds. My grandparents were born in Jamaica, in the Caribbean, and came here to work. My dad says he's British, but my mum says she's English. I say I'm black British. Page 189. Task 3A. Listen and repeat. England. Ireland. Wales. Scotland. London. Cardiff, Belfast, Edinburgh. Page 189. Task 3C. Listen about the countries of the UK. England is the biggest country in the UK and over 50 million people live here. One famous place is the London Eye, a big wheel by the River Thames in London. England is famous for its buildings, cricket and the writer Shakespeare. The symbol of England is the rose. Scotland has a population of over 5 million. A famous place is Ben Nevis, the highest mountain in Britain. Scotland is famous for whisky, the kilt that many men wear, and the Loch Ness Monster. The symbol of Scotland is the thistle. There are about two million people in Northern Ireland. A famous place you can see on the coast is the Giant's Causeway, and there are many lovely villages in the countryside too. Northern Ireland's also famous for its traditional pubs, its music and dancing. One of the symbols of Northern Ireland is the shamrock. Wales is very beautiful. About three million people live here. One famous place is Conwy Castle, which you can see in the photo. It's also famous for its mountains, singing and rugby. One of the symbols of Wales is the leek. Page 189. Task 3C. Listen about the countries of the UK. England is the biggest country in the UK and over 50 million people live here. One famous place is the London Eye, a big wheel by the River Thames in London. England is famous for its buildings, cricket and the writer Shakespeare. The symbol of England is the rose. Scotland has a population of over 5 million. A famous place is Ben Nevis, the highest mountain in Britain. Scotland is famous for whisky, the kilt that many men wear and the Loch Ness Monster. The symbol of Scotland is the thistle. There are about two million people in Northern Ireland. A famous place you can see on the coast is the Giant's Causeway, and there are many lovely villages in the countryside too. Northern Ireland's also famous for its traditional pubs, its music and dancing. One of the symbols of Northern Ireland is the shamrock. Wales is very beautiful. About three million people live here. One famous place is Conwy Castle, 
which you can see in the photo. It's also famous for its mountains, singing and rugby. One of the symbols of Wales is the leek. Page 190. Task 4A. Listen to Duncan and Fiona. Scotland. I'm Duncan. I'd like to clear up some misunderstandings about my people. 1. Scotsmen do not wear kilts all the time. Only sometimes. Kilts are pleated knee-length tartan skirts which traditionally come from the Scottish Highlands. 2. Not all Scots can play the bagpipes. It's our traditional instrument, but we normally play all other instruments as well. 3. Scotland is not a spooky country full of ghosts and monsters. We do have a list of a dozen castles which are occasionally visited by ghosts, but not more. And just two lochs with monsters. Nessie in Loch Ness and her cousin Morag on Loch Morar. And that's all. I'm Fiona. I'd like to tell you about my hometown. Edinburgh is famous for its medieval old town, the old mega-famous old Edinburgh Castle and the Royal Mile, which Daniel Defoe described as the finest street in the entire world. Edinburgh Castle is on the list of a dozen Scottish castles with ghosts. There was a rumour in 1960 that a headless drummer and a piper were seen in the castle. While in Edinburgh, you should visit the royal yacht Britannia. It is the most famous ship in the world. She's the seventh most popular visitor's attraction in Scotland. She has served the royal family for over 40 years and has made more than one million miles around the globe. Some royal couples have spent their honeymoons on board, including Prince Charles and Princess Diana. If you are a Harry Potter fan, visit the Highlands. You will feel right at home there. You will immediately recognise the Glenfinnan viaduct from the film The Chamber of Secrets and the dramatic mountain scenery of Glencoe and Glen Nevis from the Philosopher's Stone. Page 190. Task 4A. Listen to Duncan and Fiona. Scotland. I'm Duncan. I'd like to clear up some misunderstandings about my people. 1. Scotsmen do not wear kilts all the time. Only sometimes. Kilts are pleated knee-length tartan skirts which traditionally come from the Scottish Highlands. 2. Not all Scots can play the bagpipes. It's our traditional instrument, but we normally play all other instruments as well. 3. Scotland is not a spooky country full of ghosts and monsters. We do have a list of a dozen castles which are occasionally visited by ghosts, but not more. And just two lochs with monsters. Nessie in Loch Ness and her cousin Morag on Loch Morar. And that's all. I'm Fiona. I'd like to tell you about my hometown. Edinburgh is famous for its medieval old town, the old mega-famous old Edinburgh Castle and the Royal Mile, which Daniel Defoe described as the finest street in the entire world. Edinburgh Castle is on the list of a dozen Scottish castles with ghosts. There was a rumour in 1960 that a headless drummer and a piper were seen in the castle. While in Edinburgh, you should visit the Royal Yacht Britannia. It is the most famous ship in the world. She's the seventh most popular visitor's attraction in Scotland. She has served the royal family for over 40 years and has made more than one million miles around the globe. Some royal couples have spent their honeymoons on board, including Prince Charles and Princess Diana. If you are a Harry Potter fan, visit the Highlands. You will feel right at home there. You will immediately recognise the Glenfinnan viaduct from the film The Chamber of Secrets, and the dramatic mountain scenery of Glencoe and Glen Nevis from the Philosopher's Stone. Page 198. Task 5A. 
Listen to Kathy and Mark. It's really difficult to decide what places to recommend. Do you know that there are three national parks in Wales? But I think you will like a visit to Big Pit, the National Coal Museum. Wales was famous for its coal mining, and Big Pit was a big coal mine, with about 1,300 miners working there. After it was closed, it became a museum. If you go there, take the underground tour. You will go 90 metres underground with a real miner, and see what life was like for the thousands of men who worked as miners. Let me just warn you, you'll have to wear a helmet and carry a lamp weighing about five kilos. Yes, the Coal Museum is great, but you must also see Danarog of Show Caves. That's an experience you'll never forget. There are a great number of beautiful caves there. The magnificent Cathedral Cave, for instance. Do you know that people actually get married there now? But don't miss the Bone Cave which is so cold because a lot of human bones were discovered in it, dating back to the Bronze Age over 3,000 years ago. Another attraction there is the Dinosaur Park, one of the largest in the world. You'll be able to travel back to Jurassic times and walk around a hundred life-size dinosaur models. Fascinating, believe me! Lesson 2. Cities of the UK. Page 205. Task 5b. Listen to the information. Edinburgh Castle is an ancient castle first built in 1200 on a volcanic rock in Edinburgh, Scotland. City Hall is a grand Victorian building built at the height of the Industrial Revolution. It's now the Civic Center in Belfast, Northern Ireland. The new St. Paul's Cathedral was built after a great fire destroyed Old London in 1666. The Millennium Building in Cardiff, Wales was opened in 2009 as a center for art and culture. The inscription above the entrance reads in English arid Welsh, In these stones horizons sing. Page 207. Task 1a. Listen. Why does everyone think only about London when visiting England? Read on and find out about some other cool places for young people in England. If you are crazy about shopping, think twice. Manchester is not only famous for one of the most famous football clubs in the world and the UK's largest university but it is also one of the best places in Europe to go shopping. You think that it rains in England all the time? Well, think again and visit Brighton. Go roller skating along the promenade or relax on its pebble beach, which is why it is often called London on Sea. If you are fanatical about football, visit Liverpool, which has two famous football teams, Liverpool and Everton. The atmosphere at Goodison Park Football Stadium is simply amazing, especially when Everton is winning. If you come to Liverpool, don't miss seeing the Super Lamp Banana, the city bizarre sculpture, or going to Magical Mystery Tour, showing all the places connected with the Beatles. Finally, let's not forget Oxford and Cambridge, which have always been favorite among students who came to learn English. Page 208. Task 2b. Listen about Birmingham. Birmingham. It is well known that Birmingham is the biggest provincial town in Great Britain. It is situated in the center of the upland area in the valleys of three small rivers, the Thame, the Cole, and the Rear. These rivers flow into the Trent, a big navigable rear. 
Birmingham is considered a country borough of Warwickshire and the market centre of Black County. Birmingham is younger than the major parts of British cities. People do not know the exact date of birth of their town, but it is known for sure that it did not exist before Anglo-Saxon times. In the 13th century, the Midland coal fields influenced its development and growth. In the 19th century, the Black County was called Birmingham. It was all due to the intensive activity of the heavy industry. Today its coal is almost worked out. Iron ore is no longer melted and on the old quarries grow green grass and wild flowers. Birmingham is an industrial city, but it is rich in numerous pleasant residential suburbs and open spaces. The cultural life is centered there. There are departments of science, art, medicine, commerce and law in the University of Birmingham. And of course, it is an important research center. There are many modern factories, but its industrial pattern is mostly based on small firms. Birmingham produces brassware, silverware, motor vehicles, electrical equipment, machine tools, metal goods, jewelry, small arms and plastics. Guests of Birmingham should visit the Birmingham Museum and Art Gallery, which are very famous in the city. They include a good collection of work by the Pre-Raphaelite Brotherhood. Among popular places of interest in Birmingham are the Baba Institute of Fine Arts, St. Philip and St. Martin Cathedrals, a popular attraction for fans of J.R. Tolkien, the Concert Hall, Victoria Square and others. Page 209 Task 3b. Listen to the information. Glasgow. Glasgow is the largest city of Scotland. Almost one million of people live there. It is situated 50 miles from Edinburgh, near the western coast of Scotland. The city was founded in the 6th century. For a long time it was not more than a cluster of cottages built on the river Clyde. Then the city began to develop. There was built the second university in Scotland, and it made Glasgow an important educational centre. When America was discovered, it led to the increasing input of tobacco, sugar, cotton, and shipbuilding industry also began to grow. Soon Glasgow was one of the richest and most successful cities in Britain. However, in the 20th century things went wrong with the city. The city's heavy industry was destroyed under the depression of the 1930s and many people lost their jobs. Glasgow and its closest industrial towns stand on the Lancashire coalfield. It dominates the whole region and every day many people go there to work. A great number of manufacturing industries is centered there. In the 18th century Glasgow was already a great port and manufacturing center. Shipbuilding, iron, steel, machinery, chemicals, textile, clothing, marine and aero engines, road vehicles and machine tools are the leading industries in Glasgow. Glasgow is also a cultural center. There are many interesting museums and art galleries. The People's Palace tells about the history of Glasgow. The Museum of Comparative Religions explores the world's different faith through art. Glasgow Cathedral is a wonderful example of Gothic architecture. People of Glasgow are very friendly and sociable. The immigrants of previous centuries from Ireland and Highland have added their charm and wit to the city. Look back. Page 218. Task 1. Listen about one of the countries of the UK. Wales lies on the west coast of Great Britain. Wales is well known for its beautiful countryside, mountains and green valleys. Snowdonia National Park is the area around Snowdon, 1,085 metres, the highest mountain of Wales. Wales has two official languages, Welsh and English. Welsh is one of the oldest languages in Europe with a long tradition of poetry and literature. The Welsh like singing and making music. 
On the national flag of Wales there is a red dragon on a field of white and green.